Hello and welcome to an introduction to programming using Visual C++. Here is the free express edition that I use that you can download from Microsoft's website as well as the paid for version that has more features. Now I can open up an existing project, in this case a Super Mario 64 text quiz that some of you may have played. See on the right we have the Solution Explorer, you can click on any of the items that make up the project and they'll be opened up in their own uh, tabs. So here we have the C++ source file and the form design mode which I'm going to show you a bit more in a moment. In the form design page you now see we can position controls, uh, buttons and etc etc, change their position, colour and things like that using the mouse and keyboard. Now here's the initiate game function which initializes certain variables, answer and text strings and things like uh, that. Here we have the header file, I'm not going to go into too much detail as it's only an introduction, but it's linked to the source file and contains function prototypes and other important parts. See that the initiate game function is called during the load event, so that basically it's called when the program first starts up automatically. See that if we hover the mouse over a variable name, for example, it show its type and what it belongs to, which is very han handy when it works. Here is the OK button selected in the uh, form design mode where we can position different uh, controls and that and change the colour as previously mentioned. Now see the red filled circle on the left is a break point. What happens is the program will continue as normal until it reaches the break point and then we can do some examining of variables etc. But first you've got to select start with debugging for the break points to work. So here the program, the text quiz has started as normally, so we're going to continue as usual until we reach the point where the program is going to hit the break point. So we're going to select an answer, in this case the third answer, which I know is the correct answer, then click on OK as normal. Now see that the program has broke, it has breaked at the break point, which is a switch statement which compares the correct answer is the one I selected. Now I'm going to select step over which will move to the next uh, or in this case the switch statement, the next case. So see that it moves to case 2 which is the third one because 0 is the first one. So that's the answer I selected it moved to. And then it's going to call a function uh, with true or false depending on if I got the question right or wrong. But select step into so that you can examine the individual statements that make up the function, the, que the um, question response function. See that at the bottom is all the variables listed with their count values and that. And then we can select continue and the program will well, continue as normal. Also remove the breakpoints so that they won't have an effect anymore. So see now that the um, Message, message box has been displayed telling you whether you got the question right or wrong. Now to show you near the bottom we've got the code for the message box and also the code for the easter egg which for those who don't know what it is can now see they might better work it out. Well thanks for watching and bye for now.